Good evening. Hello, everybody. Today is April 26, 2017. I am Dilam. Welcome each and everybody to our Millennium uh, TV a special uh, talk show, which is news and views, uh, bridging the community globally and closing the gap. Uh, with me, I have uh, two special guests joining, uh, Mr. Rehan Reza joining from Topeka, Kansas. Also joining with me, Salim Akhtar, uh, he's joining from uh, Chicago, Illinois, and especially today we are discussing about the current situation uh, about uh, America and especially how the Muslim American community and uh, looking into the perspective and platform. Mm -hmm. So I like to welcome our guest and each and everybody who's watching on the TV and who's watching on the Facebook and uh, social media, uh, please. Uh, you know, join with us on uh, facebook.com forward slash millennium TV USA. And thank you so much. And please uh, welcome and join with our guest, uh, Mr. Rehan Reza. He is the BAPAC chairman of Kansas and he's joining with us. Mr. Rehan Reza, how are you? So good to have you here today, tonight. Good. Uh, how are you, MD alums? Thank you for having thank me. Thank you so much. Uh, definitely. So how is the weather in uh, Kansas today? Is everything going good? Yeah, it's getting cold again. <laughs> so <laughs> cold. Uh, Kansas weather is frequent change. So it's hard to predict what's going to happen. Like your, uh, state, huh? It's like your swing state, huh? It's like your swing red state. Yeah. yeah, you know, red state, we're going to make it swing so pretty soon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Already. So Thank you so much. much. And dear viewers, uh, with me joining uh, Muhammad uh, Salim Akhtar. Uh, he is uh, uh, the actually director of AMA American Muslim Alliance, and he's joining from Chicago, Illinois. Salim Akhtar, so good to have you here on our show. Uh, how are you, brother? How is everything going in Chicago area, brother Salim Akhtar? Alhamdulillah. Uh, thank you so much for taking me in, and uh, appreciate that. I'm just fine. And uh, I hope everything is fine with you. Okay. Um, I know you have some important uh, topic uh, today, so uh, uh, some subject you want to discuss. And I'm glad uh, to join you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And yours tonight, uh, as part of our show, uh, we will be discussing about two uh, ongoing, very important and serious matter that as. America is, uh, uh, you know, emerging to a uh, situation. It's a very important and it's a very, uh, you know, emergency situation, I have to say. Uh, one of them who is, is the North Korean uh, uh, regime and the nuclear warfare. Uh, perhaps the world is looking into, is it the indication of third order? Uh, so I'd like to bring our guest uh, uh, from Chicago, Elena, uh, Mohammad Salim Akhtar. What's your position? And what do you think about how Mr. Trump is, uh, uh, you know, taking a key role uh, about North Korean regime in the nuclear warfare? Salim Akhtar. Uh, as far, I am equally concerned as any any human being or any citizen would be concerned about a nuclear uh, race. Uh, I share the concern of uh, the president. Uh, in that sense, uh, about the nuclear race. But uh, at the same time, we have to look the root causes of this is this race has been a reason of a domino impact when some will initiate into the nuclear arm armament program and the other nation will follow. Sometimes we create a paranoia uh, when we pursue aggressively more than uh, what we need for our defense now uh, and you know it uh, and anybody can uh, anybody know it we are america is the superpower and there is uh, no threat to the shores of america and i strongly believe that we need to do anything and everything to uh, uh, eliminate this paranoia among the underdeveloped countries and the countries like North Korea. 
uh, we have been having a very strained relations with uh, uh, North Korea in the, for the last few decades. And uh, uh, the new president, I, I, I would say, uh, uh, the son, uh, Mr. Kim, uh, he is uh, he appears to be determined uh, uh, to follow through uh, his own. Uh, 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 I mean, his own desire to be uh, uh, to continue the nuclear arm race now. I am, I am with all those who are against uh, uh, the, any kind of a aggression or a war as a first option. I, I believe that uh, a civility can prevail and through dialogue and through negotiations and diplomacy, uh, 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 this war-like situation could be averted. Now, after saying that, we have to also recognize that uh, we need to eliminate the nuclear arsenals all over uh, this, uh, all over the world, and we need to have a nuclear-free uh, earth. Uh, it's very dangerous. We are playing with the life of the life. Uh, we cannot take chance. And uh, we have to be more concerned with the humanity. Uh, and it's a kind of a warfare. It's not going to hurt uh, the enemy only, but it will destroy the nation and it can hurt ourselves too. And uh, it is uh, uh, the, uh, the race, the nuclear race is very, very unfortunate. And I think we need to put a handle on that race. Uh, now, if we say that uh, if some other country will acquire the nuclear know-how, then uh, we will uh, preempt. I don't think this is the right position because uh, what is good for me is good for everybody. What's good for you is good for me. So, I mean, something. How, if something we can sanction for ourselves, how, I mean, what legitimacy do we have to forbid the other? The best way is that we all have to come to a point, maybe under United Nations, maybe in some sort of a another uh, program where all the nations need to get together and plan uh, to denuclearize uh, uh, this world. And we we need to take the initiative and being a superpower oh. i think we have more us and more responsibility to, to take the lead uh, but if we create the atmosphere of paranoia it can cause some real real harm not only to our force but it may cause a harm to our, our friends and ourselves as well okay th thank you brother uh, muhammad salim akhtar and uh, I think uh, what you are uh, summarizing that uh, uh, there should be no nuclear war. There should be, uh, you know, uh, responsibility and accountability. But uh, if there is a war break out, and as you know, Russia in other hand, uh, allying with North Korea and uh, uh, in the United States and the ally, uh, if if in case there is a war break out, and, uh, and where we're going to be, it's going to be a key. A question for the survival of the humanity. So I'd like to uh, bring our guest, uh, Mr. Ryan Reza. He's joining from Tropica, Kansas. Uh, Mr. Reza, what's your point of view in this uh, situation that uh, it is the key question of the uh, you know, survival of human race? If there is a uh, you know, nuclear warfare and if there's a nuclear attack and nuclear arsenal will happen, uh, then uh, what probably could happen? What's your point on that? That uh, what should be we doing as United States of America or North Korean uh, situation? Thank you, thank you, Mr. MD Alom. Um, you know, uh, this president, Mr. Donald Trump, uh, need to worry about that he's not 
racing horses. This is a nuclear race. So we should learn, and America should learn from Vietnam where Second World War, that what happened on the wall. So uh, Mr. President and his policymaker and advisors, you know, the way things are going on right now uh, around the walls, we have too many issues need to face. America is challenging every day. Every day we have lots of issue and facing and his focus not in the American issues is 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 playing game with the Syria and then North Korea because you cannot mess with the nuclear race. You cannot play with the nuclear weapons because there is a million millions of human beings lives is there. If something happened, and uh, Mr. President Donald Trump should realize that it will be big mess. Not only U.S. said it will be big mess in the global wise. You know, all the neighborhood countries, everybody will be suffer. And if something happened right now, so you know, if you ask my personal opinion, that it need to be stopped because uh, we we are not a kids. You know, you can't play. You can't play game. You know. Like I mentioned, this is not a horse race, it's a nuclear race. It to realize that how dangerous and will be the human life, especially North Korea and surrounding all the countries, North Korea, the where these people is gonna be go if something happened between USA and the North Korea. Because you cannot say that North Korea is a small country and they all stop. If America attacks, they will attack. They're ready, you know. So don't underestimate, don't underjudge that North Korea will be quiet. North Korea President Mr. Kim already said that we are not Iraq, we are not Afghanistan, we are not Syria. We'll fight back. If USA attack, and North Korea is ready to fight back, and it will be harm. Uh, not only North Korea, surrounding countries. And around the world, in global wise, it will be big crisis, and which is Mr. Trump uh, will be out of control. Uh, to when he created the problem, he will face a lot of challenges. And we can learn from Vietnam, where that you know it's a continued process. America, uh, fifty thousand soldiers. Uh, we all lost the young kids in the Vietnam wars, and what America get nothing. We America end up with the zero. So from here to go and fight with Syria or North Korea, I think it will be a big challenge for U.S. government. We need to Thank start. you. Thank you so much, uh, dear viewers, uh, especially who are watching uh, our News and Views, a special uh, talk show on the uh, Millennium TV. And uh, with me, we have uh, Mr. Mohammed Salim Akhtar joining from Chicago and Randy the of Kansas. So at this point, I'd like to bring in new topics I know uh, this is uh, another topic what Muslim American uh, are uh, really confused about it. Uh, it's about the Syrian regime, uh, Bashar al-Assad, and how the uh, you know uh, American uh, uh, leadership are acting on it. So uh, we know that last uh, seven, eight years, President Obama uh, he did not intervene in the uh, you know bombing or serious, serious military uh, you know intervention. Uh, however, Trump, within the short time of his presidency, he is joining and he has started bombing uh, and creating this uh, situation in uh, Syria. So, Mohammed uh, Salim Akhtar, what's your point of view and position about this change? And if you can focus within the frame, uh, Brother Salim Akhtar. Uh, thank you. Okay. Uh, I have. In principle, you know, it's a matter of principle. Uh, the principle is that the nations have to live under some rule, some agreed rule. If we can look into the development, you know, we look into the rules which have been bestowed upon to the nation and agreed by all the nations under, under the offices of the UN. Now, there is the one thing, the nations have the right to for the self-defense. Nation has the right to self-defense. But after saying that, at the same time, you know, the nations do not have the right to intervene each other's internal matters. 
Okay. Now the principle is that we are all for for the restoration of democracy anywhere in the world, including Syria. Okay. Now the Syria, the government, they may claim they have their own election, one party. Uh, sorry, Brother Salim Akhtar. Uh, I think we're having some uh, technical issue on your end. Uh, perhaps maybe the internet communication or the satellite is not connecting through your server. I mean, through your personal, uh, you know, PC. But definitely, I'm going to bring you back. Uh, I like to go back to our uh, uh, guest, uh, Mr. Rehan Reza. He's joining from uh, Topeka, Kansas. So, as Mr. Salim Akhtar was saying that. Uh, uh, we must do everything to uh, the restoration of democracy. That's exactly right. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, looking into a stable country, Syria was a stable country. Now it's uh, destabilized and, uh, uh, you know, with over 3 million people being, uh, uh, you know, displaced and the war going on. And at this point, uh, U.S. is attacking on uh, Bashar al-Assad. And I know I have a Syrian-born... Uh, a Muslim American who is a mayor of Prospect Park in New Jersey for 16 years. When uh, the message came out that uh, uh, Rehan Reza, you know him, uh, you know, Muhammad Khairul. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when yeah, I met uh, uh, this message came, I called uh, Mayor Tahir Khairullah and he said that he's happy uh, because Donald Trump uh, made a military action. And I have other friends uh, and they're not happy about it. So really, as a Muslim American, we are also confused. We don't know what is the real platform, who is right and who is wrong, or who is on whose side. So, but in this case, uh, Rehan Reza, what's your position on uh, uh, Syrian intervention uh, of Mr. Trump? Rehan Reza. Uh, thank you, MD Alam. You know, this, this Middle East crisis, and it's very hard to predict that which direction is going right now, because we are living in USA, the government is far away distance, because there is a lot of internal issue. There is a lot of Shia Sunni issue, ISIS issue, and there's a Russian interest, and then US interest, the China's interest. So, you know, the actual figure, actuals, what's going on in Syria or Iraq, there's no clue. Because, you know, the President Assad only know exactly what he want, okay? Either he want a U.S. government help, or you want the Russian bloc help, or you need a Chinese help, because his plan, if you look at the history of Iraq and other countries, you know, those are the countries, all the dictator is sitting there. They've been there for 40 years, long times, okay? And they're not gonna give power, until they die. And it's happened in Iraq, and we see in Libya and all other Middle East countries. Now, America uh, should learn from Vietnam War, again, Korean War, you know, Second World War, I mentioned earlier, because America is never going to win. It doesn't matter how many air strike you did, okay, it doesn't matter how much soldier you send in the soul of Syria or Iraq or Afghan, they're not going to win because the people who live in this country, the people belongs to their country, they're going to fight back. They're going to fight back every day. They're going to fight back until the whole generation is gone. You're gonna, if they die, then their kids are going to fight back for their land, their souls. So this is very hard and it's not going to winning situation. So as American citizens, you know, uh, Asian American, uh, my personal view is that America, you just let it go. And whatever the Syrian government, like you said, that the brother from Syria, he like it, he's like other Syrian brother, they don't like it because they're all confused. They're all confused because every family in Syria, they're hurting. They're hurting some, they're losing their husband, wife, children, family members. So this is a big chaos in Syria. And again, my personal view, opinion, America is not going to win this war. You know, it's our taxpayer money. 
We should not spend that money in Syria or Iraq. We should spend that money in USA because we have so many issues in these countries. This government need to focus on that rather than going far away, distance, you know, let them handle their own situation. They did not ask our help, you know. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, dear viewers who are listening. Mr. Rahan Reza is joining from Tropica, Kansas with me. Also joining our guest tonight uh, uh, from uh, New York studio, uh, Mr. Noor Muhammad Safadar. He's a media uh, you know, individual and he is always uh, giving us the media uh, platform. Uh, Mr. Noor Muhammad Safadar, uh, you know, he is uh, actually joining with us for this special show and uh, news and views. So we are talking about uh, uh, the current situation in Syrian uh, regime. Uh, so, uh, you know, what Rehan Reza was saying that uh, uh, who knows and we don't know. There are a lot of, uh, uh, you know, confusion and uh, the dictatorship goes on and we really don't know as how America will go and intervene as like if you come and come to my house and tell me how to put my couch and where to put my TV or how to manage my living room. I'm not going to take that. That's exactly what you are meaning, uh, Mr. Uh, Reza. Uh, that uh, definitely. So at this point, I'd like to uh, welcome uh, Mr. Noor Muhammad Tafadar. Uh, please uh, join and uh, give us the point of view. Uh, what do you think uh, about the current situation, how America is intervening uh, with the Middle East situation? In a brief, uh, Mr. Noor Muhammad Tafadar from uh, New York studio. Thank you very much, Mr. Alam, Brother Alam, and Brother Raja. Thank you very much. Nice to see you guys. Whatever happens in Syria is a very bad situation. Is probably, you guys know, 1979, they have some kind of United States and some Britain, Germany, they have some kind of plague ground the syria is going to be one day part of israel so this is the plague ground i don't want to go united we survive united states i don't know and we live united states we do want to go against of our government but whatever our government doing illegally as a human shell, all of the world is not good. As a human rights, they are not doing good things. We have to know United States government, we are the taxpayer. Our taxpayer money have to go to be our United government, our people, not round the world if round the world have to go as a humanity not not human shield thank you brother alam thank you so much uh, mr nur muhammad for that absolutely uh, let me put a small uh, you know quotation on that what uh, uh, brother nur muhammad was uh, putting uh, exactly 1979 uh, it was a you know jerusalem manifesto and that manifesto actually was, uh, it is a well, uh, well open secret matter. Uh, there was a list of seven uh, Muslim country and the destru destruction uh, and dissertation, destruction of the seven countries. So we all know this, it's been uh, uh, in the history. Uh, so this is part of that uh, program and plan that how Syria been attacked how the Iraq and all this country, and maybe perhaps the country is uh, Iran. So that's another issue we Muslim American definitely will speak. We come from Bangladesh and there are Muslim American. Uh, we don't understand the distance and differences between the Shia and Sunni. However, the media make it bigger. Uh, but uh, before we go to break, I like to uh, ask a question. It's a very uh, you know, technical question for the mainstream media but it's okay to discuss between us and media also need to know that I personally am the alarm do not see a difference between the Shia and uh, Sunni uh, Islam and Muslim in terms of our 
and solidarity, peace and justice. However, the media come and they portray it in a very difficult way. What's your view on that, um, uh, Mr. Rehan Reza, uh, in a brief, if you can tell, what's your personal point of view about that uh, Shiite and Sunni uh, in terms of our reality, not what the Western media is portraying? Well, <clears throat> the media is playing big role in this country and around the walls. And we all know and we all observe that they are the one who's divided the uh, America and also the divided the whole nations global wise. Uh, Islamic phobia, you know, radicalized, Shia Sunni, all the division because those kind of term and uh, you know, those uh, we didn't never even heard before that. You know, even we are the Muslim American, because there's the one who bring all the issues, Ziyadi, you know, Al-Qaeda, ISIS, Shia, Sunni. So they are the one is playing game and creating and confusing among the Muslim brothers and who live in this country and around the world. And I, I can tell you, MD and Nur Muhammad, Bhai, this is all political standbazi. You know, because they have to say some things, you know, otherwise, how the media are going to survive? Because you have to have some kind of news every day, breaking news. America says breaking news. So that you have to find some kind of breaking news. And, you, you know, if, if somebody did some other religion, they never mentioned, they never brought the issue. But if some Muslim tied up, you know, who believe in Islam and did something wrong and it's a breaking news. But look at that on the wall. There's a lot of crimes going on. Every day is killing in the school, in the church, you know. But there's no news. If they did, they say it's a mental problem. But as a Muslim American or anybody did around the wall, and this is a terror. So we have to know the different shells. You know, if Muslim did something, so then we become a terror. And if other religious group, Christian did or Jewish, they're not terror because the media say they have a health issue, mental problem, okay? So I can see that yes, media playing game. And, you know, we are minority. We are minority in this country. So only thing we can do, just raise your voice. Doesn't matter where do you live, who's your congressman and senator, work with them. Again, I say it is very important to work with your local local your district your state and give them masses and let them know your congressman senator hey this is wrong you know this is totally wrong and we need your support because you know seven eight million muslim live in this country and they come 100 years back you know we are the immigrants maybe we came 30 years back but so many muslim decent muslim has so much contribution for this country you know this country is a melting pot you know all the immigrants they come here for the dream, for the future, to build their family, build their life, because nobody, but there's uh, some good people, every religious. Look at the Oklahoma. It's my neighboring state. You guys remember, right? The Timothy McBaker, he bombed and he killed almost 300 innocent kids and everybody. Nobody even raised question that he's a Christian terror. You guys know the media, how they play a role yes. that time? Say he yes, is, yes. he got a mental problem. He killed 300 innocent people in the Oklahoma, the bomb, the state building. So what happened if one Muslim did in Oklahoma? What's going to happen to us? You know, it's a serious issue. Look at that, the Cindy Hook, you know, they kill all this, uh, the, the young kids. Look at what happened in South Korea. They kill all the church. So whoever did, you know, it's a media's propaganda. They always say, they never raise their question about the religious. They say it's a mental problem. But if you believe Islam or if you're a Muslim, then we are terror. That's the difference. So media is playing wrong. Media is doing all kind of uh, problems right now. Is They are not united. They're dividing the, this country. They're dividing and creating all the problem with the Shia and Sunni. So as a Muslim, whoever we live around the world, we need to understand, we need to go by the book. You know, I always said, read the book and what is our book said, then we always talk about peace, peace and peace. 
you know, if somebody did something wrong, we could not tie up this guy or man and all men that Islamic phobia or he's a terror will say that he's a bad person. Islam doesn't tolerance any kind of violence. Islam always say peace, peace and peace. So we need to give them message whoever we leave a different state, we need to work with our local congressman, governor, senator, because this is very important. Otherwise, we are nowhere. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Rehandra. That was so delighted. Uh, I have to tell you guys, you know, stay with us. Don't go, uh, you know, the, the topics of Rehan Reza brought. It's very important to understand as myself and Rehan Reza, he is a prominent Muslim American uh, politician, a figure, community activist, did it involved in the political process for the last 20 years, 25 years, uh, building the community and the first, second generation in the political restoration and the uh, uh, democratic and civic process. And Rehan Reza, he said uh, very strongly I'm that. Uh, I'm going yes. to interrupt you. I'm going to say one more thing before I leave because I have to catch another meeting. The Muslim American, we live in this country, seven to eight millions. We need to raise our voice. This is the only thing, all we can say, because we are positive, we are good Muslim. We love this country like any other immigrants came from other country religions group because we are belongs to United States of America. Because this is our bread and butter. We came, we left our own beloved countries. So this is our country, our kids, kids born and brought up in this country. So we cannot left. So we have to raise our voice. Otherwise, we're not going to win. Wherever we live, doesn't matter which state, we need to work with the local, the policy maker who make the policy state level and federal level. Because if we scare and if we are shy, and if we, if, we, if we don't say anything, then we'll believe in future will be more problem and our kids, our first generation will be suffer and suffer. So this is the time, you know, I always say raise your voice because we are not doing anything wrong. We are a decent citizens, you know, we pay tax like any other group, you know, and our tax money is going out, killing other brothers in around the walls, creating the problem. Our tax money should be in this country because we have a lot of issues in this country. We have a social security issues coming. We have a healthcare issues coming. We have immigrant issues coming. You know, so many issues, this government need to be fixed. So our voice should be to the legislator and the Congress and Senator, hey guys, open up, watch, you know, wake up and see what's going on and don't trust just only the media. You know, media is not giving 100% perfect and because they've been biased. So many ways they've sure. been biased. Absolutely. Yeah, that's Absolutely. Thank, that. you. Thank you so much, dear viewers. So that's exactly what uh, Millennium Platform, the news and views, and we are uh, pushing and providing the Muslim American leadership, the community leaders, uh, politicians and activists like Rehan Reza. Uh, you know, we have uh, Salim Akhtar and uh, so many namely, but we are not, uh, you know, been exposed. Our community never been given a platform to reach out our voice. So right here where we are, your voice been heard and absolutely, uh, you know, uh, there are so many things Rehan Reza brought and we're going to be uh, talking about it. And uh, please stay with us, don't go. It is time for a small break. Whoever is watching the TV and whoever on the social media, Facebook and global community, please join with us on the facebook.com forward slash Millennium TV USA. Thank you so much. Don't go away. We'll be right back in our studio uh, with me, uh, Nur Muhammad Tafadar from New York and Rehan Reza from Topeka, Kansas. I'm MB Alam joining from a Millennium a Michigan studio. Stay with us. Let's take a small break. Thank you. My name is Tasneem Khan. Welcome to Khan's Tutorials, SAT and Regions program. Khan's Tutorial is New York's number one tutorial for preparing for the SAT, Regions, ACT, and AP exams. Khan's helps students gain admissions to top colleges through academic counseling and mentorship. Our very own Khan Foundation provides students with all aspects of the college application process with free workshops including financial aid and scholarships. Your child's education is our number one priority. Parents can trust cons. For higher SAT and region scores, send your child to cons tutorial.
আপনার প্রতিদিনের কেনাকাটার কথা ভাবছেন তাহলে আজই চলে আসুন দেশি বাজারে সরাসরি বাংলাদেশ সহ বিভিন্ন দেশ থেকে আমদানিকৃত বিভিন্ন শাকসবজি ফলমূল সহ নানা পণ্যের সমাহার রয়েছে এখানে দেশি বাজারে দেশীয় পণ্যের পাশাপাশি রয়েছে বিশ্বখ্যাত বিভিন্ন ব্র্যান্ডের কসমেটিক্স ফুড প্রোডাক্ট সহ অন্যান্য সামগ্রী তাহলে আর দেরি কেন আপনার যে কোনো পণ্যের জন্য আজই চলে আসুন দেশি বাজারে দেশি বাজার জ্যাকসন হাইটস ইউএসএ ग्लोबल टैक्स एंड फाइनान्सियल सार्विसेेस सुदीर्घ तेईस बस जबत कमिटी सभा नियोजित टैक्स फाइलिंग सुदीर्घ अभिज्ञता और सूनम रही है निर्भुल भावे टैक्स फाइलिंग कर सठिक डिडक्शन और सठिक क्रेडिट प्रदान माध्यम आईआरएस और स्टेट अडिटर आशंका मुक्त कर निश्चयता दिखी टैक्स फाइलिंग छाड़ा रही है इमिग्रेशन रियल स्टेट और ट्रावल सार्विसेेस Jackson Heights office 37-21 75th street 3rd floor Jackson Heights New York 11372 Police office 184-02 Hillside Avenue Jamaica New York 11432 Phone 7187797600 even 3473924312 New Empire Real Estate আপনি কি রিয়েল এস্টেট ক্রয় বা বিক্রয়ের কথা ভাবছেন আবাসিক বাণিজ্যিক সহ রিয়েল এস্টেটের সকল ধরনের সেবা দিতে আপনার পাশে রয়েছে নিউ এম্পায়ার রিয়েল এস্টেট গ্রুপ ইঙ্ক কেননা নিউ এম্পায়ার রিয়েল এস্টেট ব্রোঞ্জ কমিউনিটিতে সুদীর্ঘ উনিশ বছর যাবৎ সততা এবং দক্ষতার সাথে রিয়েল এস্টেট সংক্রান্ত সকল ধরনের সেবা দিয়ে যাচ্ছে আমাদের ঠিকানা নাইন টু ফাইভ এ এভিনিউ ব্রুন্স নিউ ইয়র্ক ওয়ান জিরো এবং নাইন ওয়ান ফোর ফাইভ ফাইভ সেভেন ওয়েব অ্যাড্রেস Dear viewers, uh, uh, welcome back to the Millennium TV News and Views. Uh, and thank you so much for being with us. We just came back from a small break uh, with me, Mr. Noor Muhammad Tofadar from Millennium Studio in New York. And I am uh, here in Millennium Studio in Michigan. So today we already finished our, uh, one of the portion right now we'll discuss with uh, uh, Mr. Noor Muhammad Tofadar with some of the uh, local and international uh, issue. Uh, so at this point, uh, go ahead. I'd like to uh, bring our, uh, uh you know uh, new york studio uh mr uh, nur mohammad tafadar uh, so what is the local situation in the uh, local community in uh, bronx and uh, manhattan and queens especially uh, within the bangladeshi american community what's new going on uh, today uh, especially uh, within the immigrant community mr nur mohammad tafadar thank you mr brother alam Uh, Bangladeshi community thinking for we are ba- Bangladeshi American and what's going on in White House. Everyone watching what's going on in North Korea. Uh, we are immigrant and government and North, Northern California justice block the sanctuary city. our president what he try to do so we are immigrant we try to help our community our country this is our land this is one of the bad thing our government try to do the broken the sanctuary city sanctuary city is one of the most important city in the united states of america this is couple of city sanctuary city california chicago new york so those city have a some kind of subsidy from the federal government so running government try to stop it but northern california justice he block the our uh, president what he try to do thank you mr brother alam 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, absolutely. Yes, that is one of the top breaking news what's happening today in America. And the president of the United States of America has tried to break up the sanctuary cities, uh, namely, you know, uh, Chicago, New York, and uh, one of the, uh, you know, city like LA, uh, San Francisco, and, uh, you know, big cities. Uh, so the, the way we are looking into that, there are a lot of controversial matter going on uh, as we are discussing that what President Trump is doing, it's always going against the betterment of the country. It's always going against the, uh, you know, norm uh, as he uh, has been the uh, most controversial. And look at this, today is uh, two, uh, April 26th. Uh, it's not 100 days yet uh, in his in his office. Uh, April 30th, there's going to be 100 days. But by this time, yesterday, actually today, uh, his treasurer secretary was asked that uh, are, are, is Mr. Trump going to, uh, you know, uh, you know, he's going to be publish uh, his tax return. He's going to be disclosed his tax return. It's so shocking what uh, the treasurer secretary said that uh, wait a minute uh, he has no intention to uh, disclose the tax uh, his tax return but he said he has done so much financial disclosure i mean come on uh, the president of the united states of america don't put the uh, tax uh, what we are trying to talk here like you know we are saying we, we don't want to go against the individual trump but his agenda his activities and what's going against the total moral and in this case, I don't want to put you in a situation to ask you a question that how Mr. Trump is doing and what he's doing and how you're feeling. We all know it's like a broad daylight. It's a, you know, people are saying that is uh, there are people who is doing babysitting with Donald Trump. Like they say, Kelly and Conway, there's Son Spicer, there is, you know, he's, uh, you know, Jared Kushner and his own daughter, Ivanka Trump. Look like all household right there, and he need a, a babysitting place that's all going against the uh, conflict of interest. And uh, there is a basic moral of the you know presidential position that makes sure it doesn't go against any kind of inter you know conflict of interest, and it's already happening. Uh, the second thing I want to discuss with you, uh, Mr. Uh, Tofader, which is. Uh, I know that uh, how our immigrant community are a little bit scared and they don't want to come, they don't want to talk, but it is the true matter that how the constitutional, you know, uh, the, the constitutional, uh, you know, uh, violation been done and going on. And, uh, uh, you know, especially uh, we can name hundreds of them. I was thinking to find a one good thing maybe Trump has done. So I, I, I give him a credit because I don't know, uh, it's not my personal position. Uh, as I was telling the last segment that uh, Mr. Uh, you know, his name is uh, Tahir Muhammad Khairullah, a mayor of the Prospect Park city. It's a Prospect Park borough of New Jersey. And uh, he's been the mayor uh, 16 years. And he's a Syrian born, uh, you know, uh, Syrian American uh, Muslim and uh, who is the mayor as soon as trump uh, you know dropped the bomb in syria uh, i called him to get the real understanding and uh, you know uh, mr tofader he said uh, md alam i'm so happy that uh, uh, president trump become my president for that moment so you know i am i, I want to give the real credit for that what did you say go ahead go ahead uh, exactly brother alam he is our president, no matter what. He is American president. Not yet is a hundred days, but he was a businessman, one of the established businessmen in the world. But my thinking is, if he is getting Democrat, Republican, Independent, if he call for everyone be together join together and do the business and whatever the foreign service all everything you know intelligence probably is going to be better but you you can see 22000 employee is federal government now is 9000 what's going on no one so many so many employee is resigned since 70s they are working but there are a lot of good diplomats they are resigned reason is some kind of problem and 
God, God bless in Donald Trump. He is our president. He sent the, his daughter to Germany. And his daughter saying something over there. American president. Everyone coming to get something from the American president. And she saying, she going over there, go to, go to get some intelligence to bring over here their intelligence. Is, is something I don't get it. Let anyway, me, let, I don't know, I don't want to stop you, but uh, uh, before I forget, uh, let me tell you on that part, uh, especially. And uh, they don't know what's happening, they don't know what they're doing. And I'm sorry, and as you said, God bless Trump. You know, I really don't have any problem to make a prayer for Trump that uh, right now we don't have anything uh, uh, other than to accept that he is the president. Either he's my president or your president or uh, whoever president, but he's the president of the United States. Uh, so I, I, could, I can make a prayer that, oh God, dear God, or oh Allah, please make him much more presidential. But he's not presidential. That's the problem. And uh, his daughter, like these people have no political background, no diplomatic background. Whatever they try to do, it's all controversial. It's going against our norm, against our country, you know, uh, constitutional uh, right. Uh, anyway, uh, the, the, the point you hit on Ivanka Trump is visiting Germany and trying to, uh, you know, uh, outsource the intelligence from the German intelligence source. It doesn't add up. It does not. Simply does not. And they don't know what they're saying. And uh, absolutely, she has done uh, so much harm already in terms of maybe, maybe Ivanka Trump might cause Trump uh, to lost his president's I tell you what uh, last week actually it's old news but I, I want to give you that uh, point of view too when the Chinese president was here in the United States they had a, a special meeting and after the meeting Ivanka Trump and her corporation was awarded over billions of dollar trade deal that's exactly right there a, 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 a conflict of interest financial gain and if a, a president or his cabinet or his uh, family member or immediate uh, family member get any type of financial gain that is against the violation of the constitution and president can lost his presidency that right there enough for president trump to lost his presidency he might get impeached i'm just telling you in this millennium tv talk show and i i, I you can mark it maybe someday that's going to happen because right there what trump has done with ivanka and ivanka has done with the chinese president that could the single soul source you know source and a evidence to bring the impeachment for Trump. All we have to do when somebody uh, from the cabinet, uh, from the Congress have to bring a impeachment uh, uh, for Mr. Donald Trump. But anyway, going back to the point, uh, uh, you know, uh, Donald Trump, uh, uh, yes, uh, so many federal workers, so many, uh, you know, the diplomat, they are, uh, you know, resigning. It is because how I can work with you, because if you're not compatible, they cannot. In, in America, it has law and order, rule and regulation. There are governance. There are, you know, sets of uh, articles. We follow it. And Trump is trying to do his own sets of uh, rulings. And it's really very hard for uh, those diplomats to really cope with. That's why the diplomats are uh, technically, you know, they're resigning from here. So I, I, at this point, I'd like to go back to our New York studio and ask Mr. Uh, Nur Muhammad Tafada that, that uh, you know, um, uh, what really do you, what, what do you think about the, uh, you know, um, uh, Trump? He's not releasing his own tax and you are American and we pay our taxes uh, and our taxes go to a fund and he's the president, he's not releasing his tax. Is there any discrepancy? I understand, I don't want to put you in a, a position, but what do you say at just a general point of view? Come on. Uh, you, Mr. Nur Muhammad you have your taxes. Uh, brother Alam, uh, brother Alam yes. thank you very much. Uh, since 1970, I am here. But I never saw any president, they never show the tax return. Every president showing their 8 years or 10 years or 12 years tax return. Only running president. Uh, they do not, uh, he do not show the tax return. So probably he have a lot of business uh, inside, that's why. And, you know, God knows. Uh, I don't want to go 
inside his business but he going to show uh, one day uh, probably american people justice department and people going to ask and he going to run for again presidency he have to show the tax return uh, otherwise i don't know how he going to be run you know and I, go ahead right, not sorry. Sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry to cut you off. And my, my thing is today's Senate, 100 senators go to the White House. What's happened? You know that for the North Korea. They don't have a space to sit down. This is our senator. And, you know, they have a big hall room, but they don't have a space to sit down all senator is something wrong anyway uh, uh, i credit our president he tried to do the lot of business around the world and he tried to bring the lot of job our country and he tried to build the uh, southern world i don't know how he's going to do but if he can do it very good for the country and very good for our you know business very good for immigrant people we can do the good job we can work hard and we can make better job better life over here thank you brother thank you so much uh, dear viewers uh, you are listening to no Muhammad Tafad. but i only tell you this i feel always when the topics come with donald trump you are a fan of donald trump and uh, i have no problem with that you know you you like donald trump that's fine uh he's your president uh, you know that's why this is our American media. We have the all uh, uh, media, uh, you know, uh, media. Uh, what is this like? Uh, um, uh, listen, listen, like, uh, listen. listen. I'm I, I, I going to be interfere you. Uh, he is the president of United States. He is our president. I don't like or I do not dislike. Uh, my question is, I am New Yorker and he is from New York. I have to like uh, him no matter what. No. Uh, number it's, one, it's, and our it's not, uh, number one, I am the Democrat. I vote for Hillary Clinton. Thank you very much, Mr. Allah. <laughs> no, but 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 what I'm saying is, I see that you always uh, you always try to give this man a chance. I understand. I respect that view. Uh, I uh, I do not see I do not see for Mr. Trump to be uh, changing or shaping up or uh, you know. Uh, sharpening him, himself uh, to the perspective, uh, Mr. Trump, he is not uh, moving to the, uh, you know, uh, to to finishing to the finish line. I think maybe he's going to be impeached or whatever it is the case. But uh, I did only give you credit that you are always uh, putting a, a good and nice word for Mr. Trump. I don't know why, but uh, that's you, uh, brother uh, Tuffer. Uh, I don't want to, uh, you know, interfere on that personal point of view. That's great, no problem. And that's what is the beauty of the media we can discuss, uh, even though you are a Democrat and you are supporting Donald Trump because you are making good prayer. But you're going to give this man a chance. That's fine. No problem. Uh, for, for me, I, uh, I have uh, given enough chance. I made the prayer already, but uh, he is, every day is doing everything uh, beyond his uh, imagination, beyond his control. And someday, as you said earlier, he's not going to be able to control uh, this, uh, you know, cabinet, control this thing. One thing I'm going to tell you, uh, as you mentioned about the Senate, uh, this is the, he is calling the Senate, entire Senate, to the White House, and uh, yet we have a, yet we have a, uh, you know, the uh, the entire cabinet there. We have a Congress. So uh, absolutely, what we want to do is we really want to continue our talk, continue our, uh, you know, position as a being a Muslim American uh, community leaders, media uh, outlet, editorial. Uh, the Millennium TV News and Views, uh, you know, Muslim uh, uh, political talk. We want to do everything. We want to give this platform also the mainstream media and also the Mr. Trump and his cabinet. Then to hear that the Muslim American views and voice are heard in American soil right now through the Millennium TV uh, channel. We have uh, globally all over the world over 50 million viewers, uh, and that's including the Muslim uh, country especially in Bangladesh and all over the world uh, Middle East and United States of America including all 50 states so that's a great uh, achievement for uh, Muslim American community 
I like to thank Millennium TV giving us this platform, and especially I am really delighted to have uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Tafadar, uh, you know, your leadership and the editorial we are putting here with the news and views. Uh, go ahead. What do you think about that Muslim American leadership coming from Kansas City to Chicago, Chicago to California, to Florida, uh, to Missouri, to you know Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, to all the way up to Atlanta, Georgia, uh, you know Miami, Florida? How do you feel that when you see Muslim American community leaders, they are coming and they are uh, giving and talking on the media show with news and views in Millennium TV? No matter how for them. Thank you, brother Alam. Uh, we are, uh, I feel, I proud whatever you do. And we are, as a Muslim American, we have a voice. This is the channel you, we can do around the world. People can see our voice. Also, our government can see what we are doing. We are not doing anything illegal. We have to say what is our right. Everyone have a right to say what they are thinking. Muslim American right now under threat everywhere. United States of America, we are proud to be an American. As a New Yorker, every used to be a long way to go have to if we have to go prayer you you have to go four mile three mile to go mosque now you can go two block they have a three mosque do you know that yeah every yeah. block like a, we have a mosque and we have a, so many muslim american living in new york city and we have a lot of muslim american in working federal government state government, city government, and city police, federal police, state police. So we are proud with that. And federal government and state government, city government, they are proud also as a New Yorker. So you talking the Chicago, Miami, uh, Missouri, uh, also Detroit. I gonna think we have to build our bridge. We have to build our bridge with the all communities, all religi all religious. You know, brother, religious is, I think, what we are as a human being. If we make something bad, something good, we have to make good things in our neighbor. We have to bring our neighbor to our house. We have to invite our neighbor to our mosque our church, what we are doing. We are doing good things or we are doing bad things. Like sometimes I invite so many people in mosque, in my neighbor, what we are doing. We are not doing bad things. They are proud those things. But I think as an American, Muslim American, these days is not a Obama era is not a Clinton era. You know that. He's not a Bush yes. era. Me, right, but uh, thank he's, you, thank, thank you that. He's you, white American 30, era. Thank 30, you very 30, much. Take 30, 30, 30 more seconds and then uh, I'd like, like to answer your question. Are you done? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, uh, dear viewers. You know, I'd like to, uh, uh, our brother and Nurmahat Fadar from our Millennium Studio, he was uh, telling the very nice, uh, you know, point of view. But I like to making sure for our uh, uh, guest and uh, for our, uh, you know, um, um, audience uh, uh, globally and especially for the United States of America uh, that look, uh, it's not about what we are doing is not illegal. It's not the question of legal or illegal. Uh, media, it's the rights of your media rights. You have a democracy. You do what is good. You do what is best. You don't do what is, you know, worst and bad for you, for your community, for your country. So we try to do all the good thing and that's exactly, we're gonna do the right thing. Either it is good or bad, but uh, you know, we're not gonna do the bad thing, the right thing. And then the the constitution give us the, uh, you know, pursuit of happiness, uh, right and liberty. And you have the, 
uh, you know, freedom of speech, freedom of, uh, you know, uh, protest and, and, and news media, but its government, government is the one who also uh, oversees and absolutely that's fine. And uh, number two, uh, what Brother Nur Muhammad said, it's absolutely the Muslim American community are under pressure. I have to tell you this for our viewers that uh, back in, in 2000, uh, this country in America, uh, when the election happened, President Bush, uh, uh, he was running for office and he got 92% Muslim American vote. And actually in, in Florida, Muslim American are the one who gave him the victory, uh, you know, uh, and that's exactly uh, what happened, uh, you know, how, uh, you know, Bush was elected by the vote of Muslim. And that is not a, uh, you know, a story. It's not a hoax, it's a real, it's a real number. You go to Google search or you do Wikipedia or whatever news you go or go to the state uh, office, you will see in 2000, 92% Muslim American voted for Republican party. Then it changed back in 2008 when Obama was running. And absolutely, you know, Bush actually, he provided a very good platform for the Muslim American immigrant American. And right after 9-11, uh, you know, Bush, President Bush, he came and he protected Muslim American. And when uh, Obama came, he actually himself was called by Fox News, like Sean Hannity and many other right-wing news. They called, uh, you know, President uh, Obama as Muslim, yet he is not. But whatever it is, he know, who knows? God knows, I don't know. And he is not a Muslim, but uh, whatever in his heart, it doesn't work like that way. He go to a church. Uh, but my point of view, his father was a Muslim. Uh, so a father was a Muslim and son is a, a Christian, that the son is Christian, he's not a Muslim. People say he come from Muslim blood. That's not accredited. Uh, number two is, yes, you're right. Uh, Mr. Trump, before he get into the position, he was banning Muslim uh, for a zero, uh, you know, my tolerance. Uh, like said, you know what? We're not going to have uh, uh, any Muslim uh, coming to this country. There will be ban and this and that. There will be, a, a, you know, uh, the Muslim registry, name the registration and stuff like that, calling the Hispanic, uh, you know, the rapist and, uh, you know, the Orston. African American, the you know lazy one, and so on and so forth. So, and by by all this uh, you know dispute uh, material, still end of the day, Trump is the president. We're gonna give him the chance. We're gonna make his prayer that he is uh, he should try to make uh, America uh, a great again the way he's saying, and as well as uh, whatever he can do. If he does the best thing, I have no problem to uh, call him my president. But uh, he need to prove that. So what I'm telling is, uh, dear viewers, uh, we are glad to have each and everybody to our show, news and views. We are bridging the communities globally and we're gonna close the gap. So we're gonna make a final comment from our uh, New York studio, uh, from our Millennium Studio in New York, Mr. Nur Mahmoud Please make a final comment uh, before we end our show tonight. Thank you, Nur Mahmoud Thank you, Brother Alom. Uh, new, uh, we, we are doing news and views around the world, bridging the communities. Please watch Millennium TV and today's show is uh, bridging the communities as a Muslim American what's happened around the world and today's in America. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, dear viewers. And uh, absolutely, you can join us on uh, uh, millenniumtv.org, millenniumtv.net, and facebook.com uh, forward slash millenniumtvusa. And I really appreciate each and everybody. Our guest joined from Topeka, Kansas, Mr. Ryan Reza, and uh, Mohammed Salim Akhtar from Chicago, Illinois. And uh, I am MD Alam from Millennium Studio in uh, Michigan. And our uh, dear uh, uh, media leader, Noor Mohammed Tafa, the giant from Millennium Studio in New York City. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. God bless America and uh, God, may God continue to bless Millennium TV and have a wonderful night. Good night.